careful you're conditioning your fist, okay, like this. Just practice slowly like this and don't need to rush on it, okay? And then when you finish one side of it, you're changing to this side and then you do the same. And as you're punching, as you see, you put your fist, it's Everyone, it's Master Wong there. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, make sure to subscribe to me before your enemy do. Otherwise, your enemy gonna use you as a dummy. You're gonna have problem. Here's a bell working so hard, their mum not gonna recognize them anymore. So I can update all the lesson for you to learn. Here's a lesson for you now. <laughs> On this guy today, lesson for you is to continue on to the Sunday training. On to the Sunday, we talk about conditioning. Okay, for the conditioning, some of you they're asking me about if the weather is bad, the weather is no good, and I haven't got a dummy. What so often you need to do to keep your hand conditioning well. Now, to condition to get your fist ready, you don't want to cut it. If you have something like this that I mentioned before, you can practice slowly like this. This is very good to keep in the solid to get your hand and fist strong and some of you practice on the tree like some of you mentioned on this comment on this video here practice on the tree punching like this a lot to get it strong very good for conditioning sometimes you can't going out so when you can't going out to practice as i mentioned on here you can using one of this it's, it's similar same quality of this okay so that way you know, represent the same conditioning the fist as you are doing like this okay as you practice with this so nice and easy to go through you can hold it down practice you can use it down the floor you can use it anywhere on this kind of a thing make one up so you can practice don't cost you anything if you got a dummy you know what to do with it okay you need to practice to continue the line onto the movement another thing as well is uh, I go through some of your comments and stuff like that on a Sunday so you can see a uh, condition of fist and we're going to go through all different conditioning throughout the week as well to get yourself prepared because that's where the most thing you need is punching okay punching is need to be strong and when you like I mentioned on a on to the Sunday lesson punching need to risk have to be able to solid okay on this so you can be able to attack and defend well as you progress okay here's a lesson for you to practice and condition when you're outside and you haven't got a dummy you can practice so check it out so let me show you here so as you see a lot of time when you start to working on to the um tree your practice to get in a fist condition we talk about fist conditioning today on the Sunday, we talk a lot about like you got a dummy. I will show you through some of that. So now the idea of this here is you put it onto here, okay? Keep it because you can take it off and you put it in. Very nice and easy. Keep it there and then just practice as you do them like this, okay? Nicely conditioning, okay, like this. Now some of you are asking, how hard do you need to punch on this? You don't need to do, to be crazy about it. Just nice and easy like that. Why it's good to have your hand on here? It's like you pin somebody onto the wall and then you start to whack them. So you simulate through the same way as you go through your conditioning, your fist, okay, like this. Just practice slowly like this and don't need to rush on it, okay? And then when you finish one side of it, you're changing to this side and then you do the same. And as you're punching, as you see, you put your fist is like this on it. So you can't do this kind of movement if you want to. So because the idea is can be taking off, yeah, and then put it wherever you want to be. So sometimes, especially for me, when I go into doing a lot of um, in the security size, and I got nowhere to practice, get the fist ready uh, for the day or the hand. I put this onto the wall and I practice so okay, like this. This is what I normally practice to getting the fist into the places where I want it and I practice like this. Okay, I do them enough of that so not overdoing it because a lot of time now you see that kind of a training you go full is on to the wall outside so like i say and you men i mentioned use one of this see use one of this you see the color there the same thing you put in a wall like this or same thing you put in any surface and use them a lot 
or different thing I do it. And also another thing so you can't do is uh, at home and put it on the floor as you use them. As you practice with this, you need to simulate through the way you're going to use them in the real life situation. So that way you conditioning, but your mind is already conditioned ready for that. Okay. So this is important to get you to learn about this and understand about more about this as you are go through the conditioning, the fist. Okay. And then next we're going to go through on this and this and all this part of the body to helping you to get stronger. So here's a lesson that you're going to practice when you're on the floor inside. I do this indoor so you can get an idea. So check it out. So when you start to doing this kind of movement, try to get used to have your hand in the places and just nicely hit like that. Okay. Don't need to rush on it at all. And don't need to hit it too hard. You actually build the muscle. Chanting this side, get used to it. get used to get yourself in this position as well as you was imagine that you have something down the ground and then you just practice a hey, punching like so. Okay, condition turn and then you go on this side. As you practice this, as you're punching, try to make sure you're flattening the fist when you're punching. Okay, don't tilt them because otherwise you're not gonna get even. Okay, now as you're watching through all the movement, punching, practice on the wall, you got a dummy, you condition on there. If you haven't got a dummy, then you can use this one of this. You can practice on the uh, wall as you are taking with you all the time, or on the floor, you can practice all this. Anything you want to ask me, ask me on this conditioning, the fist to get you strong. First lesson, first lesson on this is keep you to learn to understand in punch properly so using the straight like this to attacking or punching as you're using this kind of movement the principle of it is the same way as you are go through the, the conditioning and then you go through the training to helping you to prepare as you go through this training here it's so many things if you want to learn more about the whole training program i got then check out my website masterwong.tv okay so check it out and go through them and if you want to learn some tai chi and stuff like that because tai chi and Wing Chun is very good to combine together like yin and yang, okay? This one is attacking, Tai Chi is soft, so it's very, very useful for training and helping you to get your mind, body, and spirit into the place. And I also have my book. Inside my book, I explained a lot about me and also a lot of uh, second book uh, on there. You will see when you go to the website, it's the event changing everything. That will give you the idea of how the KT3, I put in there for the KT3, what it's all about and what is it so people know, so you know what it's all about when you want to learn the training, to want to learn for self-defense, okay? So this is sort of thing we're gonna put on. And on a Thursday, we're gonna go through more of the training and stuff like that to helping you to learn and everything else that you need to learn about. And anything you want to know, check me up and want to ask me any question you want to ask me on here, comment below. If you want personally ask me anything onto the training side, then go to my website, masterwong.tv and check it out. If you see me getting so much energy and stuff like that, ready for action, ready for everything, then check out Sealer Shit because that is what you take every morning to helping you to get energy. So cut off the coffee and get into the real stuff. Check it out, see the shit as well. Get my book, have a read. I will see you on the Thursday. Mm. Nice book, mate. <laughs> have to read my book. Check my book out. Remember, sleep clean, train hard, and don't let anyone bully you again. Time, place, and a method attack. <laughs> You wonder why I get so much energy and I don't drink any coffee at all and I'm not able to do all the things that you need to do. I'm taking this called Sheila Shit, okay? This is three times a day, drink them with water, very basic and simple, no coffee at all and you get so much energy and you're able to do all the things you need to do. Especially all this lockdown at the moment, you feel depressed, you feel immune system is dropped, you need to have some of that. Here's the information here or below here for you to check it out and take them three times a day. You know you got enough of it. Make sure you're using the Master Wong code for check out and you get some discount. So Master Wong here, check it up and I will see you later. Now get your stupid ass back to training. Ah!